the top three lessons that I've learned from spending over $2.65 million on Facebook ads. Guys, Kim Barrett here from Your Social Voice. Thank you so much for joining me today. Now, I wanted to share with you these three lessons because I think that regardless of how much you're spending on Facebook right now, all of these things, all of these uh, three biggest lessons that I've learned are going, are going to be applicable for you. They're going to have an impact on you. They're going to be able to help you understand what you're doing when it comes to your Facebook ads because let's be honest, right? A lot of us do things when it comes to Facebook and sometimes it's done on the fly, right? And hopefully these lessons will help you understand a couple of different things that you need to be aware of um, when you are doing this in the three biggest lessons. So I'm gonna start with number one. So the first lesson and one of the biggest ones I think is to break down your metrics. And when I say break down your metrics, what I mean is that a lot of people will run Facebook ads and they'll set them up and they run. And Facebook as a default actually show you the entirety of the lifetime of what you're doing. So let's say that you started running ads six years ago. From there till now, they will show you that entire period of time as to what your results are. Let's say you've generated 6,000 leads. It might be 6,000 leads at $10 per lead. Now, the reason why you need to break down your metrics and what you're actually tracking is because on a day-to-day -day basis, your ads can change dramatically, right? They can have a huge, huge, huge impact. They can go up, down, sideways, die, come back, revive, come back from the dead. There's so many different things that can happen on a day-to-day -day basis. And what most people tend to do is that when they run their ads, they look at it from a lifetime perspective. So it might show them that they've got, okay, um, they've got 10 leads in the last month at $10 a lead. However, the last two days have been $60 a lead, right? Or whatever it might be. So that's the reason why you need to break down and look at how you are tracking your metrics and it needs to be daily. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to change things daily, but on a daily basis, you need to look at what the cost is per lead, right? Because it can blow out otherwise. You can have um, times and effects where things can go through the roof and it's not a good time, right? And if you don't track it on a day-to-day -day basis and you just keep looking at it, the last few days, you could do a whole week, which is tremendously uh, low cost per lead or low cost per sale. And the last couple of days just blow out and then it ruins all your hard work. So you need to make sure that you're looking at things on a daily basis Right, and sometimes you know you can get uh, addicted to looking at them, but I reckon at least a morning and afternoon, if you're doing your ads yourself, you need to be looking at just to keep a track. Right, if you're spending a reasonable amount of money, if you're spending more than a hundred dollars a day, you definitely need to be looking at that just to keep an eye on it. Right, because otherwise, what can happen is you can have some big swings. But you know, you only make those decisions and changes based after two days. Because if you make things too rapidly, you can ruin it, but you need to know what's going on. You need to have a hand on the steering wheel so you can see what's happening. I did an interview with a uh, copywriting and uh, business great called Brian Kurtz. And he said that regardless of how big your business is or what you're doing or who's doing your marketing, you need to have your finger on the pulse of your marketing and what is happening in it, right? You need to know exactly what's happening because you're gonna be able to direct it the most. You know your business the best and you need to make sure you keep an eye on it also to see how things are tracking because the worst thing that can happen is you take your eyes off it for a week, you go on a holiday, you're running your own ads, come back and you've spent way too much money for not enough result. So you need to make sure you keep your eyes peeled, right? That's a big one, number one. <clears throat> number two, and these might sound simple, but they're very, very important. Number two is that tracking is everything, right? Tracking and testing. I don't want to tell you how many times, like for my own campaigns, like myself or a team member, we've gone through and we've clicked a link just before we're about to turn it live. And it's like, oh, that's broken. Or like gone through and gone opt into a page and check our tracking, right? We use a really good tool called Facebook Pixel Helper. So you can see what pixel is installed on which pages, what's firing off. And then you can check that with your Facebook Ads Manager. So there's a little Google Chrome plugin called Facebook Pixel Helper. It's so powerful because it will actually make sure, because the last thing that you want to have happen is you act, sometimes what happens if you're using platforms like ClickFunnels, WordPress, Infusionsoft and whatnot, you may think that logically in the sequence, you see one page and then the next page that, and you open each page individually. If you don't actually opt in, sometimes you might get redirected to a completely different page. 
right? And then it's like, oh, hang on, this is not tracking things properly. The conversions are not happening effectively and it can skew and really, really um, push out your data and not allow you to know what's going on. So testing is everything. Any link that you use, where well, there's a guy who used to work with us, I see his ads all the time and sometimes his ads are, like the links are broken. Sometimes he's missed words like in the copy. So, you know, testing and tracking is so, so, so important. And if you're someone who is probably similar to myself, who loves just to get things out there, write them on the go and get them done, copy and paste, like two tools that I recommend, copy and pasting your ad copy into, like do it in a Word document or a notes document first, and make sure that you have Grammarly installed in your computer so you can look at your sentence structure. You can ensure that you haven't missed a word or you've used the wrong word here or there because all the, uh, the grammar Nazis out there, they'll get you, they'll get you, they'll hunt you down and find you, don't you worry. But uh, I always highly recommend doing that first to ensure that nothing goes wrong, then paste it into Facebook ads. A lot of times people will go into ads and they'll write an ad in there which is, which is cool if you've got a lot of experience, but it can lead to missing words, it can, and because sometimes Facebook just re reverts for some reason and it will like right, rub off half of what we've done. Um, and you don't want that to happen. So write it in a, say, like a, like a, a Google Doc or a, a Word Doc or a Notes to start with that automatically saves so that you've got it there. And you've also then you're building a resource list of all the, all the work that you do but please test it first so that you can also make sure then you are going to track effectively because testing and tracking is, is everything. And if you're tracking the wrong thing or you go to the wrong page and you have the pixels on the wrong areas, like it's just not going to be a good time for you. So I always recommend going through step by step, ticking the box, tested, t ticking the box, tracking is working before you then go live because there's some big campaigns that I've seen and uh, not ones that are done by us, but done by other people that I go through and the tracking is not there having all the testing is I'll go through and opt into something and the next page is a broken link or the pay, like the button underneath on the next page that's meant to take me to an upsell something like that is broken and that is not a good time for anyone involved so you need to ensure I highly 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 employ you you need to ensure that you have that and you have that done properly right and then that's going to set you up for great success so I highly recommend that you do that right so that's step number two is testing and tracking is everything. Testing and tracking is everything. The number three, I would say, is that you need to get help, okay? Unless you are watching this and you're a Facebook agency yourself and you're just looking for some insights from me, like if you're doing these things yourself, get help from, from professionals, get help from like, go and do the Facebook blueprint, enroll in someone's program or course or, or go into a mastermind or something because things change so often, it's impossible. And if you're running a business that is not based on marketing or ads, it is hard for you to keep up with the changes. You know, I did, I've done a video on this channel on uh, other areas about that. It's hard for you to keep up with the changes and what actually happens unless you have help and support because you're staying at the forefront of your industry. It's hard enough to stay at the forefront of your own industry, let alone focusing on the Facebook advertising world, the Instagram advertising world, the YouTube world, all these different things. It's almost impossible, right? I'll actually say it's impossible to stay at the forefront of all of them. So you need to make sure that if you are doing ads, get help, right? At the very beginning, because we were doing, when we very first started back, you know, six, seven years ago, we were doing a range of things. We weren't just, we hadn't specialized in Facebook yet. We were doing a whole range and array of different things. So for me, I was like, oh, I want to use Facebook ads. I think that's the most logical way to bring people in my business. I had to invest in going and get a mentor because I was not going, I did not know um, enough about what was going on. I was like, I need someone who's a specialist who can also help me grow my business um, and how to leverage the platform because I have no idea what's going on. This is before there was a lot of updates, before there was agency partner programs and things like that with Facebook. So it was the wild west days and it was very, very painful trying to figure it out for myself and it's like, oh, I see someone post something around me. It's like, oh, is, is that true? Do I, I need to go figure that out? And then I have to go run around, try and figure it out, spend half a day testing things. Not a good time. So get help is the biggest one that I've found. It's the only reason we've been able to spend so much. And look, we've actually probably spent a lot more because we also do coach people and help them out in different ways also. So I'd say that number is probably, you know, closer to the, the impact and influence we've had on, on ad spend, probably closer to 5 million plus. And look, you do need help, but right? <laughs> I cannot employ you more, like get help with those things because it's just gonna make a huge impact on your ability to not only spend, but spend things profitably. 
all right? So please, 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 please do that. So let's like circling back and to wrap this up, number one is you need to know the breakdown of the metrics that you're looking at, right? You don't wanna miss anything. Number two is testing and tracking is everything, right? testing all your links and everything that works and tracking and make sure you're tracking the right things within your funnel and ad process. And number three, get help, right? You need it. Um, don't be too proud like I was for many, many a year thinking I could just figure it out for myself. Get help because it's gonna allow you to exponentially grow your results faster and faster. Right, so I just wanted to share that with y'all today. Now, if you did like this video, please do give us a thumbs up. Let us know, drop a comment down below and let us know if you want anything else for us to cover. We're more than happy to help you. And uh, as always, make sure that you subscribe and you have notifications, turn on the little bell, right? So that you can see and hear our videos before anyone else and you get to see the freshest content. You don't have to cross your fingers and hope you get it every single week. Until next time, guys, I am Kim. You have all been awesome. Adios.